Now back to Kutaro's tale. Would you believe Bull and Horse were once happily married? He was easy, she was breezy, and they cared for and cherished each other. Until, that is, they were given moonstone shards, and well, trouble in paradise. Bull grew brawny and boastful, while Horse's gait and ego alike gained frightening momentum. Of all the Moonbear King's generals, they could have been an unstoppable pair. But instead they felt a petty squabbling and name-calling. Meanwhile, Kutaro was still stinging from his treatment at the hands of Mr. and Mrs. Livestock. He knew sticks and stones could break his poor puppet bones, but he couldn't put a name to what he felt now. Those arrogant beasts hadn't even given him the time of day. He felt like a nobody, and that was tough medicine to swallow. Katara, what's wrong? You look blue. What's that on your face? Whoa! Check this out! It's you, Kataro! Wanted! Dead or alive for the dastardly theft of Calibris and the Moonstone! Approach with extreme caution! Whoa! Look at the zeros on this bounty! Holy smokes! They're plastered all over the place! You must be famous. No. Infamous. Now, what am I saying? Woolen Horse blew you off big time. Maybe if you were taller, or like, grew a mustache or something. Oh well, don't sweat it. Katara, what's wrong? Hey, wait up! Was it something I said? Kutaro was on a mission now. His pride had been wounded, and beating the Woolen Horse was the only band. <laughs> Our young hero was like a different person. He hunted down the generals with a newfound fury. Those two could be halfway across the moon by now. Like this, you loser! Get out of my face! Catch me if you can! Oh! How do you dare that stupid steer block the road? That's cheating! I can't believe you let drops for me, you creep! I could have avoided it! What's with those bikes? And why are they riding alongside us? <laughs> Whoa! Those dummies took out the railroad bridge! Hurry up! The telephone poles are coming down! <laughs> Jump! Ugh, horse got away! After her! 
Despite having finally landed his first hard-earned blow on General Bull, Kuturo still hadn't made a blip on the couple's radar. All they cared about was their race. Kutaro had had it up to here with being ignored. He was going to get Bull and Horse's attention. Violent fantasies flashed across his mind. chased after Kuturo with the ferocity of a wild animal. Finally lost her! Not that I had any doubts! Let's knock this drunk hand over and send Bullhead for a loop! Ooh, Nelly! Well, we lost Bull, but we gained a way forward. The blast had left Route 60 sticks on the verge of collapse. Yes, the ground looked ready to do that thing where it crumbles just inches behind the fleeing hero. I will win! I have to! Oh, she looks ready to heal over. Let's put her out of her misery. Look what you've done, you moron! I was seconds from winning! How dare you make me forfeit the race! I was about to beat this bovine! Oh, yeah? Well, now you can fight Kataro instead! <laughs> fight this pathetic pipsqueak! <laughs> oh, maybe when he's out of diapers! What's the matter? Chicken? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Gonna run back to your chicken coop? How dare you call me a barnyard animal? <laughs> we barbarize you! First one to the train station wins! Whoa! Hey, wait just a darn second. You're supposed to duel, not race. Who was wrong? Throwing in the towel? Why even try when you know you're going to lose? You're a loser, Kutaro! They should call you, I'm gonna lose, Taro! Wait, wait! My mother doesn't follow through, Taro! Whatever! <laughs> Fine. If you want a race, we've got one condition. You have to wager your Moonstone Shards. If Kataro takes first, you cough up the family jewel. My Moonstone Shards? Get <laughs> real tiny! I'm not that stupid! You should be honored just to gallop with the big girls. Oh, I see how it is. You're the one scared of losing. 
Guess you better pack it in now, you pack animal. Wouldn't want to take any chances. You might end up buying the farm. Fine. The moonstone. You got yourself a deal, sister. But when this is over, I'm going to wipe that smirk right off your face. Burst from the gates, but in front is General Horse. It's General Horse. Behind in second is Kutaro No Head. It's Kutaro No Head. He's clearing the obstacles and closing ground, but General Horse is keeping him a few lengths behind. I teach you how to crush my rain! And now Kutaro pulls his eye to try and cut in and take the lead. A carrot! Up! Oh, Up! Oh, what a jump! Kutaro is on General Horse's back. A horse is a horse. Of course, of course. But this one's a train that's using force. If she's going to cheat, then I say let's gallop up. of speed. Look at Kudro go. He's going for broke. Jump again. Kudro on the inside. Kudro on the inside. He's showing no mercy with that whip as he closes the gap with General Horse. No mercy. What a whipping. Folks, a cattle car that carries lions. No tigers or bears? Oh my. If you didn't know any better, you might have thought Picarina was on vacation. Excuse me for living in the moment. And we're back in the race. Dynamite is raining down. Bones are being magic back to life. Cacti, scorpions, kudros jumping and sliding through the steeplechase from hell. in the landscape than from the lavish sea of a classic locomotive. <laughs> Sound on this thing. Stoke the carols. Today, you're riding on the Horsey Anthem Express. Hello! Life and Death Race speaking! <laughs> Life and death race speaking, right?
horse across the wild waste, caught up with a locomotive, ridden on the back of said locomotive, and boy was his butt sore. Look out! Boulder! A number! Bleached bones like sharpened fangs, scorpions, Kutaro's horses on the bit as he shrugs off every danger. Between slicing through smokestack plumes and dodging flaming curls, Kutaro had a busy time of reaching the front of the train. Yes, finally! Kutaro was aboard the finest train this side of Neptune. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be in his shoes. Our uh, horseshoes. Now, let's have a look at the Horsey Ental Express's award-winning dining car. The lacy white tablecloths, the thick, juicy steaks. The completely annoying train geek. Slicing through smokestack blooms and dodging flaming curls, Kutaro had a busy time of reaching the front of the train. Yes, finally! Kutaro was aboard the finest train this side of Neptune. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be in his shoes. Our horseshoes. Now, let's have a look at the Horsey Ental Express's award-winning dining car. The lacy white tablecloths, the thick, juicy steaks. The completely annoying train geek. Kutaro is right on General Horse, right on her. He's in the straight, the post is in sight. Follow that cold smoke, kid. Ride like the wind, you're almost there. Go for home. You can do it. Kutaro, and the slash smashes through the tender behind General Horse, enraging her. She throws the emergency brake as Kutaro overtakes her. First place, Kutaro. First place, Kutaro. Yeah, who's your dad? Looks like the town's celebrating. Thank you! Thank you! That was not a real victory. And if it was, it was over her! Not over me! After all the dismissals, Kutaro had finally gotten horse to throw down, and it felt good. I'm gonna snort you to kingdom come! Say your prayers. Don't stand in front! Get behind her! The train's got mixed up! Only the latest in the high-tech gadget. The blinds. Swank! Don't play with my cup. Now! Let her have it!
It's not so easy to put a dent in top grade moonlight steel. My car uses an MFS construction and it's been running for more than 30 years. <laughs> They're on our six! Turn it around! I am trying! General Horse's internal pressure was steadily galloping toward a point, and trying to contain it did terrible things to her temper. Had she consulted a doctor earlier, this terrible tragedy might have been averted. Yeah, help her let off some steam. One more slam ought to do it. No, it won't! Picarina hurtled into the sky and far, far away. The far, far away they flew. Kutaro and Picarina flew far. And they landed. <coughs> they landed. Land already! Oh, hey! Wow! I'm okay! Kataro, you got all your parts? Come on, quit messing around! Look at this place! Like, where are we? I mean, donde estamos? With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound. After conning Horse into a race and stomping all over her pride, Kutaro was feeling good, but now Bull had challenged him to a duel in parts unknown. When the Colosseum dust settled, who would be standing tall? <laughs> 